Hey guys, welcome to another essential tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the animation sequencer within NVIDIA Omniverse Create. Now, if you've ever wanted to offset your keyframes or to duplicate them or to reverse them or change the timing of them, this is the, the uh, really fast non-destructive way to do it. So first things first, I have this uh, simple animation. Uh, I'm going to go to animation sequencer and I'm going to add a new create asset track. Then I'm going to right click and go add new asset clip and drag that over in my timeline. And then I'm going to go to the animation add target, select my car rig, go add. And then under asset, I'm going to select that exact same node. So from here, it's going to find the animation. And in my case, this linear animation is zero to hundred frames. And you can see if I have it start at frame zero, it plays as normal. But now if I drag it out to frame 120, this is when the animation is triggered to start at that time. So that's super handy. Um, it means you don't have to go into another DCC uh, or re-export your USD with new animation timing. This is just a, a really great way to be able to modify your animation. So other uh, things we can do here, let's just set our start and end time to be the correct match. Um, there's something we can do with the play rate. If you want to slow down your animation, for instance, you can do that. Um, you can also increase it to something really high if you want to speed up your animation to be really quick. So that's super handy. Um, you can also use this loop function. So if you drag out this end handle here and extend it out, and then you press play again, you can see that the animation just loops endlessly. So if you have, for instance, a flag waving in the wind, um, or you have any kind of, you know, uh, tree wave, you know, swaying in the wind, whatever it is, any kind of asset where you have a looped element, this is really great to quickly be able to loop that. So one other thing too, if you wanted to reverse your animation, if you set your start time to your end time and your end time to your start time, in this case 100 and zero respectively, it'll reverse your animation clip. Now one thing I found when trying to mess with the play rate, either increasing it or decreasing it below one, uh, it didn't work as expected. So if you keep that at one, it uh, works for reversing your clip, uh, but that's just some of the limitations I found. Uh, also loop doesn't work in reverse mode either. There may be a way to, to do that, I just haven't uh, figured it out yet. So one of the other things too, if I just set my start time back to zero and set my end time to 100, um, you can also right click and you can duplicate the clip. So in this case, on my timeline, rather than just having uh, a generic loop, you can also have it triggered at specific repeating uh, sequences. So again, super handy. Um, there's a lot of really cool use cases for this in different projects in NVIDIA Omniverse, but I just love that it's non-destructive. And yeah, hopefully this helps some of you guys out. Anyway, I will see you next time. Thanks.